I've already covered 25 of the best Netflix original movies, but now it's time to look at the inverse. That's right. I'm about to show you some of the most awful movies ever made specifically produced by Netflix. There's no getting around it. While Netflix has created some quality films, they've also been behind plenty of stinkers. And just like the best movies list, we're using Rotten Tomatoes rating score to determine the worst. Ready to see which movies to avoid on Netflix? I'm Michael List 25, and here are 25 worst Netflix original movies. Twenty-five, Like Father Starring Kristen Bell and Kelsey Grammer, this rom-com follows an estranged father and daughter as they go on a cruise together after she was left at the altar. Critics consider it a cliché mess that did nothing to enlighten the genre. Twenty-four, Mascots Written, directed, and starring Christopher Guest, this comedy takes place in the world of competitive mascots as they vie for The Golden Fluffy a prestigious and coveted award. Critics called it boring, barely funny, and not meaning the quality of Guest's former work. 23. War Machine Brad Pitt stars in this satirical comedy about the American military involvement in Afghanistan, producing a biting perspective from the men leading it. Critics were mostly unhappy with its uneven storytelling, dulling the bite of the satire. 22. The Most Hated Woman in America this true crime biopic about the disappearance of Madeleine Murray O'Hare, the founder of American Atheists and Culture War Firebrand, focuses on her rise and fall. Critics claim the movie succeeds in communicating the weight of the character, but doesn't know how to tell the story. 21. The Devil and Father Amorth A documentary about exorcism by the same director that filmed The Exorcist, William Friedkin, this film follows Father Amorth, a Catholic priest commissioned to exorcise demons from people. Many critics consider it bloated, boring, and amateur, which is sad considering Friedkin was once a celebrated auteur. 20. The Discovery Starring Jason Siegel, Rooney Mara, and Robert Redford, this film is about a world where the afterlife is a proven fact, resulting in millions of people committing suicide. The story specifically follows the son of the scientist who proved the existence of an afterlife. Many critics said the movie has a great premise, but doesn't follow through with an interesting story or a solid conclusion. 19. ARQ This science fiction film is about a couple caught in a time loop after they discover a revolutionary new technology. They must try to escape the loop with the technology intact. Critics considered it a bad derivative of better films, like Primer and Edge of Tomorrow. 18. Death Note A live-action adaptation of the beloved anime, this film follows Light Turner as he discovers a book with the power to kill anyone when he writes their name in it. When he tries to kill the city's criminals, he's pursued by a detective only known as L. Critics lambasted the movie for stripping the identity of the original anime and making it boring in the process. 17. When We First Met This rom-com is about Noah spending the perfect night with Avery only to be put in the friend zone. Trying to find out what went wrong, he discovers a way to go back in time to get it right. Brian Tellerico of RogerEbert.com said it's like suffering through a bad date over and over again making you want to switch tables. 16. Extinction In this film, Michael Pena is a working-class father who experiences reoccurring nightmares of destruction from an unknown force. Soon, he comes to realize they could be the key to a recent alien invasion on Earth. Nick Allen of RogerEbert.com called it a B-movie with a blockbuster attitude and not in a fun way. 15. Sandy Wexler this comedy starring Adam Sandler follows a talent manager working with a variety of clients on the fringes of Hollywood, but is distracted when he falls in love with his newest client. Critics said it was a step up from his past few awful movies, but that it wasn't much to write home about. 14. Bright Written by Max Landis and directed by David Ayer, this film combines fantasy with modern day, pairing a human and orc together as cops trying to solve a mystery. Critics said the movie was basically a cliché and dumb buddy cop movie dressed up differently. 
Surprisingly, though critics hated it, viewers on Rotten Tomatoes loved it, giving it an 84%. 13. The Week Of About two polar opposite fathers having to deal with each other during the wedding of their children, this film stars Chris Rock and Adam Sandler trying to rekindle old comedic chemistry. Unfortunately, critics didn't like it at all, saying that even streaming the movie feels like a ripoff. 12. Special Correspondence In this film, written and directed by Ricky Gervais, a radio journalist and his sidekick fake a kidnapping, which sparks a manhunt while they hide out in New York City. Critics slam this movie for bad writing and weak characters, making it an embarrassing endeavor for Gervais. 11. Tao in this science fiction horror, a grifter is kidnapped and tortured by an advanced artificial intelligence created by her captor. To escape, she'll have to outsmart the AI before it's too late. Critics called it a witless wannabe thriller with a horrible ending. 10. Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon Sword of Destiny A sequel to the hit film Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon, this film follows Yu Shu Lian as she hunts for the legendary sword. Sadly, the movie pales in comparison to its predecessor, with sloppy writing, filmmaking, and little enthusiasm from the actors. 9. Brain on Fire Written and directed by Jared Barrett, this film is about Callahan, a reporter at the New York Post that starts having seizures and hearing voices. Her health only spirals downward until a doctor gives her a diagnosis that can potentially cure her maladies. One critic said this movie is why the Razzies were invented. 8. Mute In a near-future Berlin, a mute man tries to solve his girlfriend's mysterious disappearance while getting wrapped up with the two U.S. Army surgeons, Cactus Bill and Duck. One critic said it was a mishmash of ideas in search of a movie. 7. How It Ends as the world falls apart, a man and his estranged father-in-law travel the country to find and save his pregnant wife. Brian Tellerico said, You're better off not even beginning. 6. The Open House A mother and her teen son move to a relative's vacation home after tragedy strikes. However, dark and eerie forces conspire against them during their stay. Critics said it was unimaginative with a shockingly bad ending. 5. Game over, man. From the creators of Workaholics, this comedy features three zeros who are thrust into action and adventure when the tower they work for is taken hostage by criminals. Critics said it was low on laughs, but full of outrageous vulgarity. 4. The Do-Over Two friends, tired of their mundane lives, decide to fake their own deaths and create new identities to start over. Starring Adam Sandler and David Spade, this comedy is full of the raunchy and stupid humor Sandler is known for, and becomes dumber every minute. 3. The Ridiculous Six Six strangers in the Wild West discover they all have the same father, and join together to find him. Also starring Adam Sandler, among others, this comedy provides everything you'd expect from Sandler, but none of it is enough for a single critic to recommend it. 2. The True Memoirs of an International Assassin In this comedy, Kevin James plays an author whose novel is mistaken for a true story, thrusting him into an assassination plot. Critics lambasted the movie for being lazy, poorly written, and not at all funny. 1. Father of the Year Starring David Spade, this comedy is about two college grads arguing over which of their fathers would win in a fight. When their idiot fathers hear about it and take it seriously, relationships are torn apart, jobs are lost, and futures are destroyed. Critics called it a third-tier Ferrelli Brothers gross-out comedy that you'll quickly forget after it's over. So, what do you think is the worst Netflix original movie? Let us know in the comments below, or tweet your answer to us at List25. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button on the bottom right and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.